afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Thursday, February 9th. I'm Bailey, and this is my co-host, Amanda. Thanks for joining us today. Last week, we told you about some of the band students going to solo and ensemble competition. We wanted to find out a little bit more about the competition, so we sent some reporters to see what they could dig up. Here's more. Hey, I'm Stoney here with... Hallie. What did you like most about the competition? Getting to play and hang out with my friends. Thank you. Hey, I'm Stoney here with... Mr. Ashcraft. How did the band do at the solo and ensemble? What were the results? Uh, the band did really good. Uh, we had a bunch of students compete. It was all of our intermediate band kids that competed. Uh, we had about 56 medals, and I think overall we had about 14 outstanding medals as well. How did the students participate? Uh, the students uh, were all, all the students participated. Um, they all played a solo and uh, we all chose their solo and then they all played with a piano accompaniment. How long did it take to prepare? Uh, it took about a month to prepare. What all do they have to do at tryouts? Uh, they had to wait outside. There was a judge and a judge uh, critiqued them, gave them some, co uh, some comments on what to fix uh, to make them better musicians and to, I guess, prepare them for future for their future in band. Thank you. What did you like most about the competition? Getting to play. Thank you. Now let's go check in with a few of the choir students and find out how they did at their solo and ensemble competition. Hi, I'm Brooks Hewitt. Ashley. How are you at the solo and ensemble? I did pretty good. In ensemble, we got first place. And on solo, I got second. What did you do to perform at the concert? I just practice learning the music and singing. Thank you. I'm Corbin Hewitt. Lainey. Star. Claire. What did you do on your solo ensemble? Ensemble. I did well. Good. Great. Congratulations, students, and keep up the good work. Anyone involved in prep cheer needs to listen up. The scheduled days for prep cheer practices are February 21st, March 1st, March 9th, and then the tryouts are on March 10th. Mark these dates on your calendar and make sure you attend. The practices will be in Miss Doherty's room. All 7th graders interested in trying out for cheerleader must be in attendance to see Mrs. Doherty if there's a conflict. And if you're an 8th grader that wants to be a 9th grade cheerleader next year, remember that you need to go to a special meeting. It's over at the High School Student Center on February 20th at 6.30 p.m. A parent or a guardian must be with you. Also remember to buy some Valograms from a Stuco rep. They're selling the items for a dollar a piece and there's no limit to the amount you may buy. The sale's in tomorrow, so find someone from Student Council today. And the eighth graders have one more tech check test this week. They'll take the science test. Get plenty of rest tonight and have pleasant dreams about periodic tables. Now let's check in with Ashley and see what's going on in weather. Hey guys, I'm Ashley here with your weather. Today's current conditions are partly cloudy, 58 degrees, wind south, 19 miles per hour, and there's zero chance of rain. Tonight's regional forecast, there's no rain. Five day forecast, looks like it's gonna be pretty warm and then it's gonna get cold. I'm Ashley with your weather, back to you. Thanks, Ashley. <laughs> now let's find out what's going on in sports. Hello, FMS sports fans. I'm Trevor, and this is my boy Klein. Here's a look at today's sports. Last weekend, members of the B basketball team played their end of season tournament. Let's find out how they did. Hi, I'm Matthew. Here. Oh, Coach Hayes. Yeah. How did our teams do at the tournament? Uh, this weekend, the seven boys won one game. I um, lost two. Uh, the eighth grade boys won the consolation side of the bracket. When are the next games for the basketball teams and who they play? Uh, the next games will be uh, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for the eight teams. Uh, the seventh grade will play at Heritage. Uh, their first game is against Terra Vista on Thursday, and the eighth grade plays Cabasos on Thursday. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm Coach Watson. How do our teams do at the um, both the seventh grade and eighth grade B team girls are city champions. Who does the eighteen play? Um, the seventh grade and eighteen plays Thursday at five o'clock at Laura Bush, and the eighth grade and eighteen got a bye, so they don't play until Friday at five o'clock at Cabasas. Thank you. Hi, uh, Matthew. <laughs> Sydney. How do you do in the tournament? All right. <laughs> 
What was the most challenging thing about playing basketball this year? Our defense. Nice job, Tigers. The A-team tournaments start today. Good luck to everyone playing. The tennis A-team will hit the courts Monday where they will take on the Irons Cougars. The match will start at 340 and is over at Irons. Tennis B team plays Irons next week on the 14th. That match will also be at Irons and it will also start at 3.40. The C team plays Irons on the 16th. That match will be at the high school and starts at 4.45. Get in plenty of practice, Tigers. During the track news, the first meet of the year is coming up soon. It'll be on the 27th. The boys are here while the girls are at Coronado. Field events start at 5 and the running events are after that. Break star, Tigers. That's a look at today's sports. Back to you. Well, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great afternoon. We'll see you later. Until then, Tigers. Bye. Bye.